We want to factorize x squared plus 7x. x squared can be written as x times x. We have a plus sign and 7x can be written as 7 times x. We have a common x so we write this down and open a bracket. What we have left is the x from the first term the plus sign and the 7 from the second term. Now for 3x squared minus 6x 3x squared can be written as 3 times x times x. We then have the minus sign and 6x could be written as 3 times 2 times x. We have a 3 common and we have an x common. So we can write down 3x and open a bracket. What we have left is x, a minus sign and a 2. Now let's look at x squared plus x. x squared can be written as x times x. x could be written as 1 times x. We have a common x. Write it down and open a bracket. What we're left with is x a plus sign and a 1. The use of the 1 here is very important. Very often students forget to put plus 1 or minus 1 in a bracket in this situation. Finally, we have 3x squared minus 8x. 3x squared is 3 times x times x. We have the minus sign. And then there is no way of writing 8 with 3 as a factor. So we're going to write 8x quite simply as 8 times x. If we look for common factors, we only have x in both terms. So we write down the x. We're left with 3 times x, which we can write as 3x, the minus sign, and the 8.